Yo, what's up guys? Today we are back on Pokemon Showdown. Now, we're not going to be doing any um, suspect... Suspect, okay, I'm chimp back now. We're not going to do any suspect test laddering or uh, just an OU Showdown Live or whatever tier. Today I'm taking it a little bit slow. Uh, I'm going to be doing some Gen 1 random battles. Hear me out a bit before you click X. I, When you've been playing this game as long as I have... Um, Okay, I'm not saying I don't enjoy this game, by the way, if that's what you think I'm about to say. No, I love Pokemon so much, hence why I've been playing Pokemon through... I I've been playing Pokemon since I was in elementary school, and I'm in my third year of college now, so... And not even just regular Pokemon, but competitive too. So, um, yeah, I, I love Pokemon, so that's not what I'm about to say. I'm not going to say I'm I hate Pokemon, I'm quitting. No, I'm <laughs> not about to say that. But uh, when you've been playing Pokemon as long as I have... Uh, you come to realize that it doesn't matter how much experience you have in the game um, there's always going to be or there can always be an outside factor that will uh, ruin a game for you um, for example hacks or uh, or your sister turning off the router in the middle of an important battle <laughs> but uh, more so hacks and it's like I need a little bit of I, I need a little break from competitive mods because I keep losing to hacks uh, repeatedly. Um, I'm trying my best to make my best plays no matter what, but just crits keep coming, misses keep happening, and uh, it's like, all right, well, I don't really have a wi the will to play a competitive game that can be ruined by luck. So just today anyway, just today, and obviously I didn't upload yesterday. I I, I needed this little break, this little time. I was with my girl, and um, the only reason I'm not there or with her today is because of the blizzard. So I was like, okay, let me stay home, try and make a video. I played a couple battles on Showdown, and I kept getting hexed out. And on top of that, it was taking so long because of the lag. So I was like, all right, I can't do this today. I can't record a live like this today. I need to chill. I need to take a little break. I still want to make a video because I love making videos. But let me do something that... It's not necessarily gonna, like, I, how do I say this? It's not gonna break my mood, I guess. Because I'm, I'm usually in a good mood, you know? I mean, I'm tired a lot. <laughs> it's like my catchphrase, right? I'm tired. Or, um, because I, I don't always sleep well. I wake up early in the morning and go to sleep late. But, uh, there's a lot of factors like that. But, like, I'm usually in a good mood. Even if I've lost to hacks... Um, if I played the game, like my game versus Fireburn, for example, yeah, I lost that. Um, I feel like I lost that when he stone edge crit me, but I did my best to get back into the game, and I played it well. I feel I played it well. Um, if it's a game where, like, that, I know I'm all over the place, guys, but I'm just explaining how I feel before I actually get into this. If you don't want to hear me, that's completely fine. I don't blame you. But just keep in mind, if you don't want to hear me talk, why'd you click the video? You click the video to see Pokemon? You can go turn on the TV or something if you want to see Pokemon. Oh, speaking of Pokemon on TV, I'm sorry I to get off track. That is the one time you will see me angry watching Pokemon on TV. I get so pissed off at Ash. My sister had to come out once because I was like, oh, okay, let me try and watch it. I haven't watched this in years. So I watch, um, I'm watching it, and this dude is not making optimal plays. He's not making optimal plays. So I'm yelling at my TV, and my sister comes out. I was like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, this guy just pisses me off. But uh, yeah, anyway... Uh, back to what I was saying. So, like my match versus Fireburn, for example, I kept rewatching the replay, uh, seeing how I could have done something differently, what I could have done to possibly win. But at the end of the day, I was fine, and I was I trusted all the plays that I made. I made the best plays that I can make, uh, considering you know the circumstances. So it's just that if it's a loss like that, I mean it sucks because it was a competitive tournament and stuff like that. But um, you know that's something I just couldn't handle. But like if it's repeated losses like that. It just come. It starts to weigh you down, and um, when that happens, I always say to others, and I take the same advice for myself: take a little break. Uh, not necessarily walking away for a month. No, uh, just take some time off. I, you know, I played in the snow. <laughs> I'm 21. I don't care. I played in the snow. I uh, chilled with my girl, and I did, you know, a lot of things. <laughs> I'll leave that to the imagination. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's why we're doing Gemini Random Battles. I kind of just want to explain myself as to why I haven't just been uploading straight daily. Uh, I still try my best to do that. And another thing I want to say is the Building with Chimp and Aim, we're going to try and make that 
it's not going to be weekly. It's going to be like whenever we feel as we can do it because um, it's really hard for us to both be on at the same time sometimes. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, how long have I been talking? Oh, five minutes. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's start looking for some Gen One random battles. This is basically to get my mood back into. It's just to help me not calm down. I love these sprites. Oh my god, not uh, not calm down. What you're useless. Not calm down per se, but um, basically just help me get my mind in the right place. Uh, I just want to, I don't want to feel like crap if I keep losing, because I know I'm better than that, so. Not that I'm amazing, I don't think I am. I think you guys hype me up too much, but that's also, you have to do with the fact that I'm a YouTuber, I guess. But, uh, we got my Metapod out. I was talking about you last time. Look how retarded it looks. <laughs> oh, man. I always thought when I was a kid that this was the nose. I didn't realize this was the face right here. I thought this was the nose, but I'm gonna hit him with a string shot. We wrap him up a little bit. This my champ, and I think also uh, part of the reason why I was getting a little bit of uh, like I don't know. I feel like the fact that Showdown was also taking forever, eating it up. What is a super effective? Hit? Yum. Let me tackle him a bit. Let me harden. Nah, I already, I already string shot. I can't harden. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so immature sometimes. <laughs> but let me hit him with a tackle. <laughs> let me hit him with a tackle and, uh, you know, do some massive damage. Oh my god, get wrecked. Okay, I died. But, uh, it's okay. What do I have? Yeah, this is just. I got psychic. So, this is just like for me, basically. Um, you know, I'm always honored that you guys watch me. I'm at 75,000 subscribers. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. I uh, I went on YouTube to showcase my battles because, well, even when I was uh, younger and I used to watch people like MBZ, uh, Xerxes, The Shadow Project, etc., etc., Marilyn, you know, why I got into YouTube. Not necessarily competitive battling, but YouTube uh, also got me into competitive battling, I guess you could say, with DPP. Uh, I had already played Advance for a while and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, like, I was always... I, I always want to showcase good battle. Let me just Thunder Wave him. Let me just give him the yellow color. I'm tired of this. Because this Machamp is about to take out two members of my team. And I haven't done crap to it. All it has is speed lower. And he doesn't even look phased. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, like, I always want to showcase my battles. Uh, I always had a little... I had, a, like, a knack for Pokemon. Is that it? A knack? Or whatever. I was... I could always play, like, I always loved competitive Pokemon, and, um, I could learn it quickly. That's what I loved about it. I used to lo lose, like, all the time, but that's how I learned everything. Like, I would get into a tier, and I would lose, like, 500 games, and then, eventually, it clicks in my head. Okay, this Pokemon does this, this Pokemon does this, this Pokemon does this, this Pokemon does this. And that's how I started learning how to, um, you know, get better. That's how I progressed, because I'd always play. I was in a clan. No! Okay, good. This is a dead turn then, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> this dude just lived. But um, yeah, that's how I always, that's how I learned how to, uh, how to get better. I played with people that were better than me. Um, I used to be on a purple search clan. I know this is more like, I guess, my Pokemon life story, I guess. I don't know, but I just feel like talking with you guys. I hope that's okay. Um, if it's not, you know what? You already viewed the video, so ha. Gotcha. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. Uh, but though, in real talk, that is, you know, it already happened. But, uh, yeah, it's like, I, um, I hope I'm recording my voice too. But, uh, it's like, I, I used to be in this clan called MD. Uh, Pokeem MD. Well, it's not Pokeem MD. Pokeem MD is obviously my name. Uh, well, on here anyway. But, um, this clan, does you have Fire Spin? You do not. I guess I got a Thunder Wave you. I can't body slam parry you. Alright, I'm gonna go out to ride you. But I was in this clan um, called Mass Destruction. For some of you that want to find out how my name was, uh, was, um, like, formed, I guess I could say the story. Uh, basically, in high school, I, uh, I, I, um, randomly, you know, I was on Cerebi.net. It was my first time on the Cerebi Wi Fi chat because you know, I was getting into DPP. I was like, I already have heard of Smogon, I already had searched up Smogon, and I was like, okay, I want to get a Wi-Fi battle, because, you know, I have these Pokemon, 
Um, let me try and get a Wi-Fi battle. And uh, I was looking for a Wi-Fi battle. And this guy named um, Porygon, MD Porygon. He had he had a uh, look at the chat right here when I'm typing this. He had MD Porygon and uh, MD Exterior. Basically, uh, these guys. I asked in the battle. Um, I beat Porygon because <laughs> I'm sure nobody knew this, but um, I had like. Not 999 all my stats, but all my EVs were maxed out. So uh, I beat Porygon and I beat um, Exterior. But I also played well. <laughs> I guess it helped that my Pokemon were all maxed out too. Was that where they were all maxed out? Yeah, okay, they were. But uh, they invited me to join their clan. And you know, I'm in ninth grade ish. I believe I'm in ninth grade. Yeah, I should be in ninth grade. Yeah, I was in ninth grade. And um, I was going into ninth grade rather. This might have been summer. This might have been my eighth grade to ninth grade summer. I know I was in high school. No, it wasn't. I was in ninth grade, and it was like February, because I know because the join date that I joined the clan, February fifteenth, is also my uh, anniversary with my girlfriend, which I thought was like awesome. Um, like now, it's like wow, coincidence. But uh, so I joined this clan, right? And um, you know, they invited me. They were so cool. Like, you know, as cool as, I guess, Pokemon people could be. <laughs> but it was just fun. Like, I stayed up all night. Uh, we would talk. We would laugh, battle. It was just a chat. It's just it's just an IRC chat. And it was just fun. I'm about to hit this guy up with a... Where's my peck? Okay. Uh, it was just really fun. You know? So, these guys, um, they asked me to join the clan. Oh, by the way, my nickname, when you have to join Sarah, but you have to make a nickname. It's probably important because I'm telling the story of how I got my name. Um, I love Pokemon, obviously, and uh, I was a big fan of AIM. Yes, this was definitely ninth grade. I was a big fan of AIM. This is how I used to talk to uh, my ex. So I used to talk to everybody in school because um, apparently people wanted to talk to me. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I'll leave that up to whatever why they did that. But um, yeah, people wanted to talk to me, I guess. And um, you know, AIM was how we communicated back then. You know, it's crazy to think about that because AIM is like dead now. But, uh, you know, I'm still alive. So, I like Pokemon, I like AIM. I was like, okay, let me pick a nickname. Pokey AIM. Ooh, I combined them both. Nice. So, um, so they asked me to join this clan. Now, when you have, when you join the clan, you had to put the tag in front. So, it would have been MD Pokey AIM. But for some reason, my, uh, oh, Pokey AIM. I was lowercase. But, uh, for some reason, I couldn't put the tag in front. No! I couldn't put the tag in front. So, um, I asked if it was okay if I put it in the back because, like, I could put the tag in front, but when I press enter, it wouldn't, like, my nickname wouldn't change. So, I asked if it was okay if I put the, uh, the tag in the back. They said okay, it worked, and there, Pokegame MD was born. Um, the clan I was in was called Mass Destruction. I met a lot of people there. I met a lot of people that I'm still friends with, uh, there, like Shake It Up from, uh, Smogon, uh, Squirrel from Smogon, Roscoe, uh, BKC, Cheese, bunch of people, a bunch of people. But, um, yeah, that's basically how that name became that. And then years later, um, uh, like a couple months after I actually made a YouTube, uh, some of my first subscribers were from my clan and all over IRC. We used to have wars and stuff like that. It was really fun. And, uh, basically during this time, I, um, I met a lot of people like, uh, Dragez, the, uh, the leader of the clan, um, Babies, I already said him, Squirrel from Smogon, uh, Meta Beast, people like that. And uh, I would battle them. I would battle them daily. Jasmine, I would battle them daily. I don't know if Jasmine was a girl. I don't think Jasmine was a girl. But uh, she pretends to be a girl. No, I can't even do anything. No. But um, yeah, I would battle them daily. Uh, I would stay up late at night playing Pokemon. And granted, I wasn't like... You might think I'm a nerd because I play Pokemon. Yeah, I am a nerd. I play Pokemon, okay? But I wasn't like in school. I played sports too every single day. I had a lot of friends. We were all friends. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just saying, like, keep in mind, I'm doing this on the side. Like, I would stay up all night playing Pokemon uh, with these guys, and uh, and then in school, I would uh, play ball and do all this stuff. Basically, that's why <laughs> the phrase, I'm tired, probably started, <laughs> because I stayed up all, I, I would I would burn myself out, but um, I just, you know, adapted and then kept going, because I need a body slam, para, and then I can kill it with hyper beam. Because I can't kill it with Hyper Beam from that range. But uh, yeah, that's how I guess I'm tired started. Uh, it's true, I was always tired. And um, 
you know, I would play these people, they were a lot better than me. And over time, uh, I would actually start winning. And I wouldn't just win one battle. No, I would win 20, 30, 40 battles. I would win battles straight. This was DPP. This is back when I was a DPP lord. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, I would beat them in, uh, in DPP. And I loved, I loved DPP. Uh, then, uh... At this time, I was I only had a couple of subscribers on YouTube. I think at around 300 subscribers, I met Shofu. I met Shofu and uh, PK. Um, Cheese introduced me to them. Cheese and Roscoe introduced me to them. Shofu became my friend around 300 subscribers. Same thing with PK. A lot of people: Zeph, Zeke. I don't know if you guys know them all. Kyle, Ken, Sucker for Jessica. These guys all became my friends around 300 subscribers, and you know we're cool. I got added to a Skype group. I started going on IRC chats uh, less and less, and I started hopping on Skype more. Mostly also because uh, IRC was also dying at this point. This, these are years gone by, guys. Uh, IRC was dying at this point. And um, you know, I started focusing on... Well, I always focused on school. I'm a, I'm a, I was a good student. Um, okay, I didn't really focus on school, but uh, I was a good student because I guess my school was easy. I... Uh, but yeah, so hopped on Skype, you know, met PK, Shofu, whatever, you know, and we've been friends obviously since then, ups and downs. Uh, I was always the center of laughing and stuff from my friends. But you know, over time, obviously, that changes. We still laugh at each other and do all this stuff, but that stuff changes. And uh, eventually, um, because of me knowing Shofu and being respected by Shofu, because I would battle Shofu all the time, he would upload it. Uh, he beat me like the first time, and then I beat him like six times in a row. And they, these were all uploaded. And then, um, oh, Electrode could take it long. And then afterwards, um, he, am I just going to call this my YouTube story? The hell? When did this even come? I just wanted to play random, but okay. Anyway, so uh, afterwards, um, you know, this is when people started knowing me. I uh, eventually, Battle for Charity came by. Um, I got into a Skype call with Tony Flag on. I got into a Skype call with MBZ. These guys knew me, but we weren't like close at the time. Uh, Tony was actually becoming my friend, and uh, you know, met Rick, met Six Foot Hack, stuff like that. A lot of people. Black Blastus was also part of the original group as well as a uh, Leo the Gator, people like that. And um, yeah, basically, you know, I met these people because of, I guess, my friendship with Shofu and everybody. That's why Shofu always makes the joke, you know, I made you. Uh, but it's kind of true. He started me off, but obviously people stayed because they liked me. And, you know, over time, I guess I got better at what I was saying. People actually started listening to me. It was funny because back in the day, I used to curse. I used to, uh, I used to play rap music in the background. Not just instrumental, guys. I'm talking about straight up rap music. Like, I'd be narrating a battle, okay? What's up, guys? You got Pokey in here. And in the background here, girl, the way you moving got me in a trance. Like, th this is the type of, uh, <laughs> that's the way I used to narrate. And I do not want to deal with this piece of crap. You could go ahead and die. Um, but yeah, that's how I used to narrate. And uh, I got respected as a battler and stuff like that. And, it, you know, it was all fun. We all played Pokemon. And I met Gator. I met Chimpak at a PMP tour. Mike Deck is here. All these people. You know, we all became... Uh, I think Blastus is good because you're ready to real meter. Right? Even though it's poison, but as I click. Um, you know, we all became uh, good friends, and uh, you know the years have gone by, and you know I've remained friends with most of the meter reno, whatever. Uh, the thing is, like, damn it, <laughs> I'm not gonna have this guy talk. I know him. I watch Jamvad's videos, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, like I said, over time, you know, we became friends. I started getting more of a following on YouTube. I started battling people more. People started respecting me. Um, which is, you know, it's also pressure at the same time because people always expect you to win. I mean, I don't, whenever somebody says, yo, you're the best at this game, or whenever one of you guys comments that, I always think to myself, nah, I mean, I play this game, but I think it's impossible to be the best at this game. That's also one of the reasons why I say it. I think it's impossible to be at a point where you're the best at this game just because of so many outside factors, hacks, team matchup, and those both do exist. Team matchup does exist. There's so many Pokemon. Even if you prepare for all the S rank threats, the A whatever plus rank whatever, I don't know. I'm talking a bit more small on talk here, but um, 
Is this guy trying to freeze me? Oh my god! Okay, well I'm gonna switch out because I don't want him freezing anything else. Um, basically, you know, it's impossible to be just the best at this game. I think there's, you can keep improving always. I think you, there's always room for improvement, but I think it's impossible to be the best at a game that is so luck based. Um, that's just, you know, my personal opinion. But yeah, around this time, I, uh, you know, a couple years I went by, I chilled with these guys a lot. Um, obviously on the internet, I uh, had the pleasure of meeting Shofu and uh, a bunch of people in real life. We're actually going to Apex this weekend, so um, get to meet PK, Scooch, and I've, you know, I've already met Shizzy. Shizzy's really cool. But why, does, why do I even have Amnesia? Can I even touch you? Do I have a Surf or Psychic? Oh, I have Blizzard. Okay. Amnesia, Blizzard. Nice. You know what? We'll see how much that does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I... Um, Started getting more of a following. When was I going with this? So, uh, eventually, you know, I have a nice amount of subscribers. And, uh, you know, Shuffle blew up in black and white. So, that's where, I guess, being his friend also helped because he battled. He always gives us shout outs and stuff like that. You know, he's a, he's a good guy. Helping out his friends. I taught AIM. <laughs> but, so basically, um, what the I wish I could re listen to what the hell, the last thing I just said. Um, damn. So, around this time, I, uh, I, I laddered on P.O. all the time. P.O. all the time. P.O. was the way for me. Uh, after Shoddy Battle basically, uh, died, P.O. was the place to go. I, P.S. wasn't exist, didn't exist, and if it did exist, it was only random battles. It was a beta. So, P.O., um, me, Shofu Pike, we would play Daily, Cheese, Roscoe, all of us. Uh, I met people like Human Shoe. Oh, I knew Human Shoe from Master Structure, but I met him. And, um, not met him, but I knew him, obviously. Gloom should be able to take this on. And uh, I met people like Hugo, or Great Bastard, who later became my good friend uh, because Shofu and Cheese decided to have this little tournament um, where you try and beat the team. Hugo was somebody who joined. He actually used to play Wi-Fi back then. And uh, he actually got added to our main group on Skype, so that's how I became good friends with him. And through Hugo, who um, later on started entering Smogon tournaments and uh, became friends with all these people, I met people like uh, I met people like CTC, um, Moet, Adam, just a bunch of people on PO. Uh, not necessarily because of this, but I met all people in the clans, Marth and stuff like that. And um, eventually, I uh, I signed up for a small round tournament. Uh, it was my first SPL. I think it was SPL four, because last year was SPL five, and this is SPL six, if I'm not mistaken. And um, unfortunately, I was always benched. I was never I was never able to play. So I only got to play two weeks. I was on the bigs. I was never ever able to play though. Uh, of course, around this time, I had met a bunch of people, but um, I was never able to play. Though I was respected as a battler, but by my friends and stuff, even by the my Smogon friends, they were, they were always like, "Okay, why aren't you letting Joey play? He could definitely, you know, win." So um, eventually, I got to play, and uh, I lost my first. It was black. This is black and white. Oh, you guys! I lost my first game to match up, and my second game I got hacked. So after that, I never got to play anymore. Um, so I won my first SPL zero and two. Now, um, after that, uh, time has gone by. And uh, I joined SPL again. This time Hugo, um, his team picked me up. He was on the Wi-Fi Wolfpack. This was last year. His team picked me up. And it was so much fun. I was so grateful that uh, he picked me up because it was a lot more fun than my first SPL because we were actually a team that talked all the time. Uh, had, am I going to win this battle? We had a lot of fun. And, um, you know, that's what really changed for me. Because uh, at this time, I decided I also want to showcase tournament matches. I want to showcase good battles that are going on on uh, on Smola, not just my own Wi-Fi battles, because Wi-Fi battling was getting harder for me to do. One, because of the time, and two, because I'm not... How do I say it? Okay. Wi-Fi battling is... Um, it, it, it's so time consuming, and obviously, you know, high school's going on, and I'm going to college. I was going to college soon, and stuff like that. Uh, Wi-Fi battling just takes a lot of time. It's because... The amount of competition on Wi-Fi, uh, solid competition, I guess experienced players, 
was very scarce compared to where I could find it on simulators. And this is where PO, eventually I started doing PO lives. Uh, this is something that was not common on YouTube at all. But I started popularizing PO lives and um, you know a bunch of other people started doing them. Rick started doing them, Tony, a lot of people. So we started transitioning from Wi-Fi to PO and uh, eventually PS, but PS was still in the beta right here. Um, and uh, you know I met Elo and all that stuff. You know, these are great. These are all great people. Crap, can I not beat this? I don't think I can beat this. He can actually rest stall me. Does this have SD? No, it does not. You are dead. I can't beat this. I have to freeze it. All right. But, um, yeah, that's my only way of beating this vapor. I have to freeze it so he can't work. But, uh, yeah, you know, so at this time I started popularizing PO Lives, and a lot of people started uploading more. Um, and like I said, Wi Fi battling has always had always started being harder for me. I didn't upload daily back then. I uploaded like once a week, twice a week, maybe if I felt like it. Uh, I still loved uploading, of course. But, um, yeah, so I, uh, how much time has gone by? Wow, 25 minutes. I'm just talking, aren't I? So, anyway, like I was saying, so um, Hugo, my boy Hugo, great bastard, uh, picked me up for SPL. And um, I really hope I freeze you. I really do. <laughs> I just went for amnesia because it was a dead turn right there. I didn't want to waste anything anyway. Um, so he picked me up. And, uh, you know, I always trusted Hugo. I always got teams from him even back then. Uh, I always trusted Hugo. So I was very grateful to be on his team. And I actually won my first week because of him. Practiced with him. We built the team together. It was really fun. And um, I also met people like Edgar. This is back before because of Tony and stuff. And Edgar is one of my best friends on... Uh, on the internet okay okay this is my last chance to freeze him please please but um yeah so um i joined this tour and eventually uh, i had to transition from uh from ou to ubers because one of my players quit and you know that was my first real big transition to ubers and i think that's why yes <laughs> yeah boy he can't thaw because Gen 1, once you freeze, you're basically dead. So that's amazing. And um, this is my first big transition to Ubers. And this is how I became good friends with Problems. Uh, because of that. We were friends, but we weren't good friends. And, you know, I talked a lot more with Edgar. Uh, more so than just in the group. Like, he was always my good friend. But, like, we talked a lot more because of that. Built with him on stuff. And, you know, we've been good friends to this day. And, uh, yeah. So, I joined this tour. Uh, it was really fun. And I actually signed up for World Cup. And I was on East team, so another team with Hugo. And um, well, I guess some of you guys know how that went. We made it to the finals and lost to Brazil, unfortunately. But yeah, it was really fun. And during this time, I started focusing more on bringing not just Wi Fi battles because Wi Fi battles, I always try to do my best with Wi Fi battles, guys. Always from the beginning, I have always tried to. Um, I've always tried to bring out the best quality Wi-Fi battles. That means I'm not gonna have a battle, and if it's the first battle I have, I'm gonna upload it. No, I've never ever done that on my own channel, unless I had no time. And even then, I've tried. I've tried and you know, give, I've given better battles after that. But um, and I apologize for that too. But you know, amount of time. But yeah, so this is where I started transitioning more to. Um, to more competitive stuff like Smogon tournaments and what's going on and I got more into Smogon and uh, I did really well in World Cup. I actually went 6-0. and oh. Out of 6 battles I won all 6 of them. So yeah, I did really well in World Cup and you know I like to thank my team for that. Hugo, CTC, them. My team was just great. I, I loved my team. So yeah, so I did really well in World Cup and uh, since then I've always been trying to upload just good content content that i can be proud of i started this thing called Ro um, road to top 10 and uh it's where i basically uh, wander into every single tier and uh, i try to get top 10 i did it in ou and then i did road to rank one and i got number one in ou uh, i think it's on my uh, twitter banner um i did i f next i did ubers uh uu i did that but i took a break and then I went back and finished it. I finished NU and RU, and I didn't get to finish Little Cup because by this time, um, Oras came out and they already changed the ladder. Uh, PS actually got hacked, so I wasn't able to finish my Little Cup run. It's unfortunate, but I'm planning to bring that back. And uh, around this time, um, you know, I entered Smogon Tour. I didn't. I 
I, I can't do smoke on tour, man, because you have to give up your weekends, like your full weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one of those days or two of those days if you want to do well. And uh, I can't do that. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, and with Oras, uh, there was a lot of changes, even to competitive bond. We got a lot more Pokemon and they really changed the game, I feel. Uh, for example, Uber's got Primal Groudon and Mega Salamence and Mega Rayquaza, which got banned. But uh, specifically Primal Groudon, I think it's such a big threat in Uber's and it's like something that uh, I, I don't like about the Uber's tiers because it's just a Pokemon that I feel should be... It's, it's so hard to be consistent in that tier. As you guys have seen by my SPL run, um, not just because of hacks, but just because in general, it's really hard to be consistent in that tier. But... Uh, yeah, so now here we are. I've uh, I have seventy five thousand subscribers on YouTube. I probably missed out a lot. I guess if you guys have questions, you can ask them. I will answer them because this is more like a video where I'm just talking and you guys are listening to me. Uh, less about my thought process, more about what actually happened to me. Um, yeah, I think is that, is that all I have to say. Yeah, so I guess you know I've been more involved with Smogon. Um, Unfortunately, I lost. One sec. Fortunately, I lost in a uh, Grand Slam uh, playoffs round one. I don't know. I can't. I don't have like the best luck, man. Like in OST, I just lost round one of that. I lost my SBL game, and uh, that's basically where we are here. Because uh, even my Wi-Fi battles, I haven't been doing too well, and I just get so agitated when I play Wi-Fi as well because I don't really have the patience for it. That's why I've always transitioned to Showdown, and I've always loved Showdown, even though the amount of time it takes to do every single move is also starting to, like, ah, get me like that, but should, this should be able to knock you out. That looks like, that looks like 86. That looks like 86. That should be, it could be 86. But, um, yeah, so that's where we are here today, and I wanted to do, like, a more live where I guess I just wanted to talk. That's, um, that's just me talking. No. No. Give me a good move. I want I want something good. Give me sing. Give me sing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to chill a bit more and just talk. I guess um, bubble beam. Okay, I can, I can I can respect that. I can respect bubble beam. Okay. But um, yeah. So now what's going on is uh, I'm in my third year of college. I'm uh, I'm working on a brand, starting a brand. And uh, in college, I'm getting my associates in liberal arts, and then I'm going on to probably John Jay or Lehman to get my uh, MBA in marketing, uh, because I feel like that's... I, I was at first in nursing, for those of you that you know, know me a little, I was at first in nursing, and then I decided to change to guidance counseling because I still want to help people, but I lost my passion for nursing. And, um, and then I changed it to marketing because I feel like all this YouTube experience like I've worked a lot guys I've worked I've worked in restaurants I've worked in offices like I never just did YouTube YouTube I feel like couldn't be just a job for me one I hate sitting down like I I hate sitting down for a long period of time I love playing basketball I love running running is like what I do I was a track co-captain in high school and uh, running is just the best honestly uh, I feel like it's a sport that no matter how much you do of it, it's you're always gonna feel like crap, man. Because uh, the better you get, the harder you run, and the harder you run, the worse you feel. So that's why I love running. Uh, I love working out. I've always been a slim kid, though, but I've always been a fit kid, and I've always, um, I've always like exercised and done all that. I've been a fan of that for a while. Uh, I tried and eat healthy. I started eating healthier in high school. Um, I think I haven't drunk soda in going on seven years almost in April. So, yeah, haven't drunk any soda for almost seven years because of track because I was tired of throwing up when I ran. <laughs> so, got rid of that. And, um, yeah, so basically now I'm trying to think about what I want to do for my channel to go forward. Um, I think that if I want to survive as a channel because you know Pokemon is great and all Pokemon isn't gonna be like around forever not that I want to be around forever either but I mean I feel like like I was actually talking with my girlfriend she was like 
when we uh, get older and if we get married, you know, God willing, I would love to marry my girlfriend. I love her. It's been, uh, how long have I known her for? She's been my one of my good friends, and if not my best friend for, she's been my best friend for a couple of years. But uh, I've known her for going on seven years, and uh, men in high school, and you know, I had a crush on her all throughout high school. Ooh, I think it's time I wrap you. I had a crush on her all throughout high school. I mean. I was kind of a bad boy in high school, I guess. I had, uh, I only had two girlfriends in high school, but that's not my... <laughs> it doesn't mean I only had experience with two people in high school. I was, uh, I guess I was... I wasn't a player, but, I mean, you're not a player if you're not going out with anybody. you just just having fun with a bunch of girls and stuff like that. I, I'm changed now. I'm, I feel like I'm a different person, more mature. Um, I think that was just a phase that I needed in high school. <laughs> Not needed necessarily, but that just happened in uh, high school. And um, yeah, so now I've been with my girl for, uh, I think, two years in our actual relationship. And then friends for like six, almost going on seven years. And best friends for about probably four years-ish. Something like that. Yeah, we've been together for a while. I love her. Uh, I really do. And um, like, I'm, I'm really passionate about my girl. Like, I'm crazy. I don't... I, <laughs> I'll go up to Central Park and I'll yell, I love Marlene. Oh, that's her name, Marlene. She's Guatemalan. I'm, uh, I'm Puerto Rican and Italian, if you guys didn't know. But um, I like to pretend I'm black sometimes, Vietnamese. You know, when she introduces me to people, I say, uh, when they ask me, oh, what are you? I'm like, I'm black. And they see my skin. It's like, really? Yeah, I am. You don't believe? Yeah, like, I love to... <laughs> I love to pretend to be a different races and ethnicities, whatever, nationalities, whatever you want to call them. But, uh, yeah, so she was actually talking about this. She was like, would you continue doing YouTube uh, when we get married and stuff like that? I was like, you know, if I had the time to outside of my real job and my career, not my job, my career. And because uh, that's the difference between that's what that's how college makes a difference. I feel uh, maybe it's not like for everybody, but um, college or school, for example, makes the difference between a career and a job. I want a career. I don't want a job. I mean, I want a job. I, I like working. Uh, you know, in high school and college, it's fine to have just a job. But I feel like if I want, I need consistent money. I need stable income, stuff like that. So, yeah. But um, yeah, she was asking me. And that's how I replied. And she she knows I. Uh, she knows I do YouTube. Um, I guess I'll tell you guys that story too because I'm just talking, just to talk. So I know there's a lot of me talking. And if you hate this video, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments. That's completely fine if you hate the video. You know, I can't, I can't please everybody. That's another thing I learned, and I'll talk about that after this. But uh, all right, so me and my girlfriend, uh, she wasn't my girlfriend at the time. We were just dating because you know we actually do that. I was like, whoa, we're actually dating. Like in high school, there's no such thing as dating, I feel. I feel like, oh, I like you, you like me. Make out, you know, my girlfriend, say you're my girlfriend. Because in high school, you don't, you see that person all the time. If you're dating someone in high school, you see that person. So, but what I love about our relationship is we don't depend on seeing each other all the time to, you know, have fun or be with each other and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, so um, I brought her over to my house. It was my sister's birthday. She didn't know. She actually got a little mad at me. She was like, wow, if you didn't tell me, I would have brought a gift. I was like, yeah, but if I would have told you, it wouldn't have came. So, yeah, because obviously we were just dating. She didn't want to make a bad impression. But uh, I'm going to die right here, ain't I? But, uh, yeah, so she comes over. And um, eventually uh, it's time for her to go home. It's a little late, so my mom was like, oh, I'll drive us. So I was like, okay, thank you. So I'm in the back with my girl. And my mom randomly says, Alright guys, my name is, uh, my birth name is Joel. if you guys didn't know. Joey's always been a nickname, a nickname that I got in high school. Uh, a lot of people call me Joe, or Jojo, or Joey, whatever, but uh, my real given name is Joel. or as my mom likes to say, uh, Joel, or Joel, or, she, she says it really weird, she says Joe, <laughs> like with a W, but it's J-O-E-L, and um, she was like, oh, you know Joel's a Pokemon master. And I was like, what? We're on the highway. It's like 9 o'clock at night. Or 10 o'clock at night. Whatever. And um, she, this girl isn't even my girlfriend yet. I'm trying to impress her. I mean, granted, we had crushes on each other. We were great friends. So I didn't really need to impress her much. But my mom randomly says, you know, 
you got, you know, Joel's a Pokemon master. Yeah, he has a YouTube and everything. And I was like, really, Mo? Really? This is really. <laughs> But uh, she looks at me and she's like, oh, that's cute. And, you know, eventually I show her my YouTube and stuff like that. And she, you know, damn, I lost. Unless I get a full pair, he misses and I can hyper beam. But, uh, yeah, so she tells him. And uh, that's it. That's a good game. So, getting into the battle because I'm still talking. But uh, she tells her. And, uh, you know, eventually I show her the channel. And she respects that. I made that video for her for her birthday um, a year ago. Her birthday's coming up. She's turning 22. I made that video for her birthday about a year ago. About a year ago, no. And um, yeah, because I felt like that's something that only I could do, like that her exes or whatever couldn't do, because you know obviously I'm a YouTuber. So, uh, is this poison? I think it poisons, right? Twenty percent chance. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, oh, okay. Dylan Klaus, Klausel, Klausel. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, come on. There, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Anyway, uh, Arrow should be able to take it on besides Blizzard, I guess, in a pair. But, um, yes, yeah, she told us that. So that's how my girlfriend found out I had a YouTube and I play Pokemon. She didn't know this in high school. A lot of people, my best friends knew it in high school, but it's not like something that we, like, one of my best friends is actually subscribed to me. Two of them. Actually, a lot of them are subscribed to me. Um, yeah, shout outs to them. Uh, they're actually watching me. You know, one of my boys actually texted me. He's like, dude, man, I keep seeing your team all over on the ladder because of that last video. I was like, I'm sorry, man. People like my stuff. I have an influence, I guess. But uh, how do I how do I make it that he dies? All right, anyway. Um, so, yeah, so she learns. That's how she learned. I guess I got to thank my mom because that's something I didn't have to hide. Or that's something, not that I have to hide. I'm not ashamed that I play Pokemon. I don't really care. I mean, in high school, I probably would have said it if I ever needed to, uh, though I feel like I never needed to, uh, but in high school, I would have said it, like, I play Pokemon, what, okay? I'm also track co-captain, I play basketball every day, I love football, I do all this stuff, and, well, you know, the girls liked me, I guess, in high school, <laughs> or thought I was cute, I don't know, I ended up having like a reputation for being a man whore because I had fun with all the girls, but you know what? That wasn't, that's, that's not a... That's that's a two-way street, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I play Pokemon. You know, I don't care. I love video games. I'm a guy. I love video games. So, yeah, so I'm really happy that my mom actually told her because um, when she finds it cute, <laughs> my girlfriend, that I do that. I'm actually smiling. I don't know why. But, uh, well, I was always a happy person, sort of. But, um, yeah, so that's how she found out I played Pokemon. And uh, what was I going to talk about that I mentioned it before, but I forgot. And I have a poor memory when it comes to... Ooh, Needlequeen takes you on. I have a poor memory when it comes to certain things. I'm hoping to go into Needlequeen and then double into Beedrill on his explosion. So, yeah. But uh, basically... I, do I have anything else to say that I feel like talking about? I don't know. Like... Well, talking going back to YouTube... Um, I feel like it's always been something that I've loved to do and I've been respected for it. But the fact that I'm respected for it and I'm looked up to, people expect a lot out of you. So it's a lot of pressure. Um, I don't concede to pressure because I'm used to tournaments, not just video game ones, but sports and competitions like that. But it's still a lot. And like when people talk crap to you, I mean, you know, it sucks. Uh, I learned to ignore, certain, hopefully he does blow up. Yep, he does. Cool. I learned to ignore a lot of things, but um, it's a lot. And like, people get mad at you if you don't do a certain thing. Guys, I'm one person. I have 75,000 subscribers. I can't reply to everybody. That's why I love uh, how some of my fan base, or followers, I like to call you guys followers rather than a fan base, because uh, I think followers is more respectful, if anything. And I mean, you guys watch me, but if you saw me in real life would you really be like oh i'm your biggest fan really i, I play pokemon you just listen to me talk on the internet i don't know it's different i guess that's also another reason why like when it comes to like movie stars and stuff like that i don't really care i don't give a crap i don't really have crushes on any girl movie stars or actors or any of that crap because you know i have my own girl and uh I, I just don't i don't know i'm just not attracted to people like that i guess 
when I'm with somebody, I stay with them, obviously. So, yeah, but um, I think it's still really cool how uh, how I could have fans just for playing Pokemon or followers, stuff like that. And I love that you guys do reply to some people when you uh, you. There's a lot going on in this video, and I have no idea like where I'm going with any of this. But I just wanted to talk. I'm sorry, I just felt like talking today. But yeah, I feel like. I don't know there was just I just love that about that like I can't please everybody I can never please everybody uh, that's something that you have to learn I've actually talked with Jambat about this a lot it's impossible to please everybody uh, people say I'm what is it I don't know people say a lot but at the end of the day um, I'm doing this because I love it See if I can mimic an earthquake and then hit him with that if he doesn't kill me or if he misses or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just love that. I, I can't obviously, like I said, I can't really please everybody. I, I already know I can't please everybody. I would like to. I would like for people just to be happy and, you know, to enjoy and to learn. That's what my channel is for. But obviously I can't do that. But uh, wow, this all came out of me just taking a little break from competitive and I just decided to talk to you guys. If you listen to all this, props to you, man. I don't know. Props to you guys. I really am hoping to see some of you guys at Apex. Uh, I'm not entering any of the competitions, but uh, I'm going to be chilling there with PK and Scoot, Shofu, and stuff like that. And I'm really just hoping to see so many people. Like, I know some people don't like me. That's completely fine. Uh, they think my personality is fake. I'm generally a caring guy. I've never said once that I was nice, though. I am friendly. I am definitely friendly. Never said I was nice. I will joke. I will make little jokes about people. Not necessarily behind their back. I'll laugh to their face. But it's not like in a way that I'm... It's more like, oh, that was funny. I'm laughing. But like certain things that obviously there's just too much of. I, I don't know. I don't like to involve myself in certain things. As I feel it is none of my business. Well, no, some people don't like me. That's completely. Oh, I'm, I'm your mother, and of course I miss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know what else do I want to say. That should be, yeah. Like I mean, I understand why certain people don't like me. That's fine. Uh, some people think I'm snobby. I just like to joke around and have fun, guys. I really do. If you think I'm snobby, though, you know. No, I lost to this now. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I guess that was my own fault. I was contemplating switching out. That would have been a better play. But, uh, you know, that's completely fine. I just love to joke around. I, I love to have fun. I enjoy what I do. And I love making videos with my friends because I can be... I'm, I'm myself in my videos, but I can... They bring out... When I'm with people, they also bring out a better side of me, I feel. A uh, more jokative side. Like, I love to joke around and do all that stuff. But when I have somebody to bounce back jokes off of... It's just so fun, not only for me, but for my friends and I guess the viewers as well because you guys always respond to those things positively. But um, yeah, as I was saying before, uh, way before, there's a lot of pressure. Why do we have the same movesets? <laughs> there's a lot of pressure for YouTubers and uh, I guess if you take it seriously, there's a lot of pressure. And um, I guess the one thing I need to remember is that I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this because I love it. This is not my, this is not my uh, my lifestyle. This is also not my. I mean, this is something I love. I love this, guys. I love YouTube, but this is not how I'm gonna. This is not what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. Obviously, this is not what I'm gonna be doing. I know I repeat myself a lot, and I am all over the place with this. And like I said, if you watch this and listen to me, you know, feel free to call me out or say whatever you want. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I just love making videos and that's why I do it so if you don't like me that's uh that's okay that's cool that's fine not everybody has to like everybody also if you do follow me and you get annoyed that I uh, don't reply to your messages or um, or if I don't or if I don't like battle you I'm, I'm sorry I'm one person Wi-Fi battling takes time it takes about tw an average of battles about 20 minutes long and uh, if it's not a good battle, a good battle doesn't necessarily mean I win or lose. Um, though I sometimes just 
by accident forget to save a lot of battles. I've actually been upset at myself because um, I've missed out on a lot of battles that were really good because I didn't save them and I couldn't showcase them. But uh, yeah, like, at the end of the day, I do this for me, guys. Like I want to please my subscribers. I would love to hit 100,000 subscribers. That's my goal. I want 100,000 subscribers. I want to get that little plaque or whatever YouTube gives me. I want to give that to my girlfriend. I want to sign it. Be like, yeah, I'm famous. <laughs> I don't consider myself famous. I guess known, but I don't know. I'm happy that I blew up in X Y and that I've been a positive. Uh, I've been a positive influence on some of you. I really am happy for that because that's what I want to do. I want to bring a whole generation of players when I'm done that are not necessarily mini me's, but they understand the game. They're good at the game. They. Uh, they just do what they gotta do and they win, you know? I would love to just bring a generation like that. I really would. I think it'd be so cool. And uh, whenever I see a comment like, hey, you know, I learned Pokemon because of you. I'm now on 1600 on the ladder. I can never get past 1200, but I've been listening to what you have to say. And uh, even though... Please miss, thank you. Even though uh, I'm not an amazing battler, I'm really, really proud of this and you know for that I'm like it makes me really happy when somebody says some for example uh, Sky um, not Sky Williams that's his name Sky whatever not that dude but Sky uh, leader ace trainer Sky on uh, Twitter he says you know what I'm getting a PK face hoodie because I want to support you in your channel I want to help you get supplies that you need and stuff like that and that meant so much to me because I guess that's common sense that buying something from me supports me but to, just to express it like that it just meant a lot to me. Um, oh god, if I freeze you, I'd be so happy. He tried to make a play there. He does, I guess he doesn't know that if, if Pokemon's frozen, he can never thaw. Does he not know that? Maybe he thinks I still have Lightning Rod. This is Gen 1. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that just meant so much to me. And uh, I love what I do, guys. I want to continue to do this. I needed to talk. I felt like I needed to talk. I love talking you watch my videos you know I talk for a hell of a lot it's not an exaggeration either <laughs> but uh, yeah no anyway I guess that's uh, that's is that about it like, do I have anything else to say I would I, I, I want to see where I'm gonna go with my channel now like I don't know if I'm gonna what I'm gonna do in the future obviously Pokemon like I said isn't gonna last forever I know I said that sometime in this video um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Do I want to branch out to different games? How do I branch out to different games? What can I do? And uh, I know some people are like, oh, if you don't upload Pokemon, if, if whatever you upload, Joey, as long as it has your voice or you or your personality, I will watch it. I mean, that's not always true, obviously. And uh, I know I won't be able to hit everyone with what I upload, but it's also, I, I need to be ready to do this. So I feel like I'm not necessarily ready to make that change just yet though I want to uh, but I mean I'm not ready I don't have the resources to do that at the moment but uh, yeah I definitely want to branch out with my channel uh, I would love to host my own tournaments my own real life tournaments I think that'd be so cool with prizes and uh, just stuff like that that's stuff I want to do like I want to do LPs because they're fun I want to do games that I want to do uh, if you guys don't watch Shizzy's gaming channel Press start I, uh, IV. Um, that's not the actual link because he has to wait, I think, for it. But it's a great game channel. Like, it really shows the how somebody could just have fun playing whatever they want. And people will enjoy that person because I, I love these videos. I think it's one of the best gaming channels on YouTube. And it only has like 10 videos, maybe less. But uh, yeah, that's basically. I guess that's basically it guys, I just felt like talking, I need a little break from uh, playing Mons, I can't believe it's been almost an hour, if you've watched me for all of this and just listened, I, I appreciate it, you obviously have to, you have no reason to, but uh, I guess that's it guys, um, no, thank you for watching and uh, I guess, I, obviously I'm going to lose this battle. If he hurries up, I can end it with him losing. But I guess that's it, guys. Um, I don't, I'm not going to say leave a like if you enjoyed. This is just me talking. Uh, 
but I do appreciate the likes, the comments, you know, subscribing. I, I definitely appreciate that. Some people say that I deserve so many more subscribers. Um, I don't know. I'm just happy with what I have. I want 100,000 subscribers, definitely. I want a bigger audience where I can hit them and uh, help them learn, but um, I can't do that on my own. I don't know. So it's definitely the subscribers that help make the person. And I try my best not to change ever, no matter how many subscribers I have. I've always been true to what I want to do. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, later.